Hi everyone. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss Hunter and I teach first grade here at Walnut Cove Elementary. As part of our virtual science week, I'm going to be doing magnetic painting with you today. This lesson could be done with students in pre-K through fifth grade, but students in pre-K through first would probably enjoy it the most. So here we go. How many of you love to paint? Do you like to use your fingers to paint or do you like to use a brush? Well, today we aren't going to use either. We are going to use the power of magnetism to paint. You may be thinking, what is magnetism? Well, magnetism is a force that is created between a magnet and an object that is made of iron or steel. So basically any object that has iron or steel in it will attract or stick to a magnet. Let's test a few items before we start our activity. I have five items here in front of me, a marker, a key ring, a pair of scissors, a bell, and an ink pen. Which of these items do you think are made of iron or steel? Take a minute and think about it. Pause the video and make your predictions. When you're finished, hit play to continue the lesson. Did you make your predictions? Do you know which of the items are made of iron or steel? Let's test each of these items. My first item is a marker. Do you think that it's made of iron or steel? Well, let's check. If I place my magnet on top of the item, it does not attract or stick. So it does not have iron or steel in it. What about the pair of scissors? The pair of scissors does have iron or steel in it. And this pair is actually a little tricky. If you put it on the end where the handle is, it doesn't attract. But if you put it closer to the end that we use for cutting, it does have iron or steel and it is attracted to the magnet. What about my key ring? My key ring has iron or steel in it. It is magnetic and it does create a magnetic force. What about the bell? This bell does have iron or steel. It is attracted to the magnet. And finally, what about my ink pen? Do you think that it has iron or steel in it? It does not attract to my magnet, so no, it does not have iron or steel in it. Now that we've learned a little bit about magnets and magnetism, let's get started with our lesson. Here are the materials that you're going to need for the magnetic painting lesson. You are going to need some paint, not spray paint, but finger paint or acrylic paint. You're going to need a plain white paper plate. You're going to need a paper clip or another magnetic item that you have. We use these paper clips because they're cheap and we can also toss them really easily and trash them when we're done. And finally, you're going to need a magnet. So those are the four materials you need. All right, let's get started. Take your plate and sit it face down on your table. You're going to take your paint and you're going to put a little bit of paint on your plate. I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see it. You don't need a lot. You just need a little. You can always go back and add more paint. I did an example earlier and you can even layer it if you want. So I've added a little bit of my favorite color, which is teal. So I've put a little bit of teal on there and I'm going to add some pink just because those colors go well together. You don't have to dot it. You can kind of streak it if you want. All right, so I've added a little bit of pink and I'm going to go back in and add some yellow. Remember, a little goes a long way. <clears throat> All right, so this time I kind of swirled it on there. And then I'm going to do a little bit of purple. All right. So now I have all my paint on my plate. I'm going to hold my plate in one hand. I'm going to place my paper clip or whatever magnetic item you're using right in the middle of my paint. So you can see it right in the middle of my paint. I'm going to hold my plate 
in my hand like this, and I'm going to take my magnet and put it underneath the plate. You should be able to feel when the magnet um, touches the item that is made of iron or steel. And then you're just going to move your, mag your magnet around underneath the plate. You want to make sure that you get all the spots where you drop the paint so that it's not really thick in some places because it'll take longer to dry if you keep it thick in some places. So I'm going to keep moving it around until I am happy with the masterpiece that I have created. All right, I think I'm happy with what I have. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to lay my magnet down. I'm going to turn around and throw that paper clip in the trash can. And now I have my artwork. You can use any colors that you want. You can do it however you want. Earlier today, I made one like this. I tried to use the colors that I thought um, are colors that are represented on a globe. Um, or a model of Earth, because I was thinking about Earth Day. So you can use whatever colors that you want. You can cut it out when you're finished. You can leave it on your plate. Once you've set it aside and let it dry, if you want, you can glue or tape a magnet on the back, and it'll stick right on your refrigerator. You can um, showcase your artwork however you want, but do remember to let it dry. If you want to learn more about magnets and magnetism, check out these sites. I'm going to share my screen with you Four so that you can. Sciences. It reads to you if you weren't aware. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can um, see those resources. One of the resources that you might want to check out is Pebble Go. Pebble Go is a great resource that we have here at the school. Um, we do use it a lot, um, at least in my classroom. Um, you can go to pebblego.com pebble and sign in using the username WCE and the password school. Notice that those are not capitalized. They are all lowercase. And then you can follow these steps. Um, when you log in, you'll see four different sections. You're going to click science. Then you're going to click physical sciences, forces and motion, and then magnetism. It will take you to a page that looks like this. There are five tabs across the top with different headings on them. This site will read the information to your child if they are unable to read it for themselves. So you can find out more about magnets and magnetism here on Pebble Go. You can also check out Epic. If you go to getepic.com, in the top, it'll say get started. And when you click get started, it'll say families or educators. You can try it for free um, for your family. Sign up for a free trial. And if you go in and search magnets, you will find lots of different books about magnets and magnetism. Some of these books, it will read them aloud. Others you might want to read to your child or your child might be able to read it for themselves. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson on magnets and magnetism and enjoy doing the magnetic painting. Have a great day.